Filing a motion to request for a deduction of 10 ringgit from the remuneration of the Minister of Domestic Trade, Cooperatives and Consumerism, Dato Ismail Sabri, to be debated during the committee stage of the budget. The reason is, as highlighted in my earlier press statements, Dato Ismail Sabri has abused his powers to selectively prosecute and persecute Suara Initiative, Suaram, to serve Barisan National's political agenda. The Minister have used the company's Commission of Malaysia to go on a fishing trip to investigate an unsubstantiated misleading accounts allegation. On the other hand, all the other companies that we have highlighted to the Minister that are UMNO link with uh, UMNO MPs such as uh, Kairi Jamaluddin as well as Abdul Rahman Dalan as directors, he has failed to take any action to date. These companies have not submitted their accounts some since 2007. They include YGP Holdings, uh, the, newly, the new, new company that was awarded a new airline license, National Aerospace and Defence Industries, as well as the companies owned by Datuk Sharizat Jalil's family. Now, in fact, the decision to file the above motion is further justified by the findings of the Auditor General report um, that was released two days ago. Now, the, the report highlighted the fact that CCM, Companies Commission, has failed to go after directors who owed more than half a million ringgit of compound fines. Half a million ringgit. An example of listed in the report is that of a director who registered 683 companies and chalked up 135 compounds for 640,000 in fines, but no action was taken. No action at all. The report also listed out four other similar cases where company directors between 85 and 135 compound fines issued against them, amounting to 640,000 and 490,000 in fines. Despite the huge sum in compound fines due, the report said these directors were still actively registering new companies without any hurdle. The irony of the Swaram persecution is the criticism, criticism by Auditor General that the number of cases referred to by the Prosecution Department of CCM were very, very low. That means all these cases, the number of cases prosecuted very, very low. Out of 8.5 million worth of compound fines, only 1.5% were prosecuted. And yet, despite this low 1.5%, CCM saw it fit to go after Swaram when there are no obvious breaches or, uh, of, of the Companies Act. Okay? The Minister must hence answer in Parliament to the sheer lack of competence in the administration of CCM. Dato Ismail Sabri must answer to Malaysians why the amno link companies have never been prosecuted by the authorities despite the blatant breaches of the law and yet the government is seeking to persecute Suaram with highly dubious and unsubstantiated allegations of misleading accounts.